Hi everyone, it's me Olya here. You're welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to conjugate Ukrainian verbs in the future tense. But before I start, I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much to everyone who is supporting my channel on Patreon. It really means a lot. And now I would begin with saying that I was super excited about filming this particular video because many times I can hear from Ukrainian learners that they are confused. Uh, about Ukrainian future conjugation and they consider it uh, a bit more complicated than the rest of the past and the future and you know what challenge accepted by the end of this video my goal would be not only to explain to you how to conjugate but to also change your mind about future conjugations and make you realize that they are a piece of cake of course if you know how to conjugate in the present tense and if you know the concept of perfective and imperfective Ukrainian verbs. That's why if you are watching this video I already assume that you are familiar with those topics and if you aren't then I strongly recommend that you go and learn how to conjugate in the present before learning how to conjugate in the future and also learn about perfective and imperfective verbs. The links to those videos, I have them on my channel, I will leave somewhere here. And now you might want to ask me, okay, I kind of get why do I need to know how to conjugate in the present tense in order to be able to conjugate in the future, but why do I need perfective and imperfective? And you know what? I'm glad you asked. You need to know about perfective and imperfective because um, in Ukrainian, we conjugate perfective and imperfective verbs differently. There will be totally different ways of conjugations, uh, totally different sets of endings. And in order to avoid mistakes, if you aren't sure whether the verb is uh, perfective or imperfective, I strongly recommend that you consult the dictionary before conjugating it. that we start with conjugating the imperfective. For imperfective verbs, however, we have two ways of uh, conjugating. I will explain each one. <music> the first way is to conjugate the compound verb. And it's easy because it's very similar to English version of uh, creating future verbs. So a compound future verb in Ukrainian consists of the correct form of the verb to be plus the infinitive of the verb that you want to make future. So you get the scheme, the verb to be uh, plus the infinitive. So it will mean will be, will read, will go, will sleep, will eat and so on. But before I can give you some actual examples in English, I must tell you that the verb to be must be conjugated. So let us start with conjugating the verb to be. Now you will have to learn all, all those forms and just add the infinitive and you are ready to go. So to be in Ukrainian means buti. In order to conjugate it, we must remove the, we are left with the stem bu. And now to that stem, we will add such endings. Ya, u, ti. Ash, vin vona vono, e, me, emo, vi, ete, voni, uch. Now please pay attention to these endings, try to memorize them because we will need them in this video once again. Okay, finally we are conjugating to be. Ja, budu, ti, budesh, vin vona vono, bude. Ми будемо, ви будете, вони будуть. And now all you have to do is to add the infinitive. Let's see how it works. Let's take the verb to eat, їсти. Їсти is the infinitive. So, я буду їсти, ти будеш їсти, він, вона, воно буде їсти, ми будемо їсти, ви будете їсти. Вони будуть їсти. Easy peasy, right? Now let's take another one. Ходити means to go on foot or to walk. So, я буду ходити, ти будеш ходити, він, вона, воно буде ходити. 
Ми будемо ходити, ви будете ходити, вони будуть ходити. Everything seems easy so far. Let's take another one. Let's take a verb спати, to sleep. So, я буду спати, ти будеш спати, він, вона, воно буде спати, ми будемо спати, ви будете спати, вони будуть спати. Now, the second way of conjugating Ukrainian imperfective verbs is take the infinitive plus a letter M or a suffix M plus the correct ending from the set of endings that I've given you before, the ones that we used for Budesh. Let's see how it works. So let's take uh, um, verb читати to read. So читати is the infinitive plus M plus the correct ending will give us the following result. Я читатиму, ти читатимеш, він, вона, воно читатиме, ми читатимемо, ви читатимете, вони читатимуть. Let's take the verb їсти, the one we conjugated before. Я їстиму. Ти їстимеш, він, вона, воно їстиме, ми їстимемо, ви їстимете, вони їстимуть. And let's take another verb that we conjugated previously. Ходити, to walk, to go on foot. Я ходитиму, ти ходитимеш, він, вона, воно ходитиме, ми ходитимемо, ви ходитимете. Вони ходитимуть. Also, what I would like you to know is that it doesn't really matter which way you choose uh, to conjugate the future imperfective verb. They are the same, basically different forms, but the same meaning. So, я буду читати equals я читатиму and translates as I will read into English. Я ходитиму equals я буду ходити. I will walk in English. Я їстиму equals я буду їсти. Я спатиму is the same as я буду спати and so on. Now I feel like we are ready to move on to perfective verbs. In order to conjugate perfective verbs in the future, you need to know how to conjugate the verbs in the present tense. Because the rules for conjugation will be exactly the same. You conjugate Ukrainian future perfective verb exactly following exactly the same rules that you conjugate Ukrainian present tense verb. For instance, perfective verb Прочитати, which means to have read, will be conjugated in exactly the same way as Ukrainian verb читати in the present tense. Just add the prefix pro, so читати becomes прочитати and you conjugate exactly the same. So я читаю in the present tense becomes я прочитаю in the future. Ти читаєш, ти прочитаєш, він, вона, воно Прочитає, ми прочитаємо, ви прочитаєте, вони прочитають. Or let us take another verb. З'їсти. З'їсти is perfective. And з'їсти in the future tense will be conjugated exactly like їсти in the present tense. Їсти is imperfective, з'їсти is perfective. The rest is the same, just with the prefix z. And it will go this way. Я з'їм, ти з'їси, він, вона, воно з'їсть, ми з'їмо, ви з'їсте, вони з'їдять. Perfective verb походити 
will be conjugated exactly like its imperfective brother in the present tense, the verb ходити. So, я походжу, ти походиш, він, вона, воно походить, ми походимо, ви походите, вони походять. So, now you see why it's important to make a difference between uh, perfective and imperfective, because you can um, take a perfective verb and conjugate it as imperfective and you will go wrong way in the wrong direction and we don't do that in Ukrainian. That's it. If you still have any questions about uh, conjugating perfectives, leave them in the comment section down below. And also please let me know in the comments whether I have changed your mind about conjugation um, in the future tenses. Has it become less confusing for you or maybe has it not? Okay, that's it for my video. The next grammar video I'm planning is on uh, conjugating the past tense. Let's finally get done with all those conjugations and move on to some other topics. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye!